What is up, guys? My name is Mike. Most of you will know of me as Onslaught. That is my Xbox Live Gamer Tag. Welcome to Brink. This is just going to be kind of some gameplay where I'm kind of introducing you guys to the game. This isn't going to be a review. I'm not going to go into tons of, of detail about what this game really is because honestly, it's, it's really complicated. There is literally a 15 minute tutorial video that um, the game asks you to watch before you be begin playing it because it's it's so different than a first person shooter that uh, that a lot of people are used to. Um, if you've played the Team Fortress series, which I personally haven't, um, I've heard that it's really similar to that. It's, it's what's called, I guess, a class based shooter. Um, at the beginning of each game, and by the way, this is totally like a multiplayer focused game. That is the, the big seller for this game. Um, and every game is kind of an objective game and you have to choose a specific class that has unique abilities to that class that allow you to um, complete objectives throughout the game. And uh, I'm not really going to get into detail too much about that right now. I just wanted to show you guys some of the gameplay. Um, if you're interested in, in seeing more um, about this game, feel free to let me know in the comments and, uh, and I'll get some team games going and uh, maybe even some kind of tutorial vids that walk you guys through specific um, aspects of this game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get you guys some gameplay. I would honestly love to show you guys some multiplayer, but I've tried to get in the two or three games already and the connection is horrible. Okay, I mean, it's super bad. So um, I'm gonna do this thing called a challenge, but I'm gonna switch characters first. So this character here that you guys see with, uh, with the dreads, that's my main character. I've buffed him up a lot. He's the guy that I've typically been playing with. But I'm going to go ahead and play with this guy, who is a character that uh, that I just created, and uh, let you guys see uh, a little bit of uh, how this game works. Real quick, though, one of the biggest sellers for me was being able to customize your characters. Look how much you can customize these guys. You can customize the hair, the face, the facial hair, um, what jacket, article of clothing they have up top. We can customize the pants, the colors, all the everything. Um, that's really cool to me personally, I guess being the, the type of person I am, um, you know, being able to have your own identity in this, you know, online world and online community, I think is really cool. You know, people see a character and they recognize it as you um, just visually, you know, and, and there's just something about that, uh, about that, that, uh, that I think is, uh, is pretty cool. So we're going to do these things, this thing called a challenge. Okay, what challenges do they allow you to unlock experience points that let you buff up your player before you before you get into the multiplayer aspect. If you get this game, I would highly suggest doing these challenges before actually jumping into multiplayer. So I'm gonna let this the lady test explain it. To defend static positions. The lights above a door will light up when an enemy attack is incoming. Okay, so there's going to be a command center here in the middle of, and I've already played through this a couple times. I'm up here, and I'm going to control this. It's called a command post. You'll see these throughout the um, throughout the game whenever you're playing multiplayer. They allow you to come back to it. You can switch classes here. You can give yourself more ammo, things like that. So now, let me go ahead and drop this guy. It's like uh, it's kind of like a claymore. I'm going to go ahead and set that here. It's called a landmine. And now what we need to do is watch the uh, watch the lights. Okay, so multiplayer is uh, visually is is really similar to. I mean, it is what you guys are what you guys are seeing right here. Bam, suckers! Another really cool thing is uh, there are tons of weapons in this game. Uh, my secondary right now is a sniper rifle. Check that beast out, which is uh, pretty bad, and I need to buff my damage. Uh, basically, what I did is, my player, being an engineer, he has the attribute of being able to make other players kind of stronger, I guess. Get, get out of here. This is a uh, burst fire weapon, by the way, uh, this weapon that I have. Here, I'm going to show you guys. If I go here... These are all, and you can do this at any time during multiplayer games, during these challenges, whenever. These are all the different rifles you can get, and uh, this is the guy that I'm using right now. You can see all its stats down below. Uh, the only thing you can't do here is um, is change the uh, attachments to it, so you have to do that outside of uh, outside of of the game. So, oh oh, headshot. So um, visually, graphics are are good, okay. But the only the only thing is. Right now, um, the multiplayer is just so broken. It honestly is. 
uh, like I said earlier, I tried to get in there. It's super laggy. Uh, there are frame rate issues, and I, I, I hope that it's going to get better. If it gets better, I really think, uh-oh. Uh I really think this is going to be a, um, a good game. Get off my command post. Thank you, good sir. Where are these guys coming from? I'll try to get some uh, little sniping action going on here. Here we go. Because that orange light's flashing, that tells me they're going to be... Oh, fuck, Mike. I was trying to reload there. Get out of here, boss. Uh-oh, get no scoped. Um, another cool thing about the uh, the multiplayer is that you'll go up against bots. Uh, you'll go up against combination of, of bots and, and real players until there are enough real players to to populate the game. All right, got those guys. I'm actually gonna switch weapons just to show you guys uh, show you guys some of the different weapons here. Uh, what's one that I have a bunch of attachments on? This guy. We'll go ahead and select him. And that puts uh, puts him in my hand. So this is uh, this is another gun that I have that I like. This one is a, uh, a fully auto. You guys can see. Uh oh, that's a little slide move you can do throughout the game. You can slide into people, and knock some uh, off balance or what have you. Get off my command post. Um, my objective throughout this game is to not let these guys get to... If they get to this command post, they can take it. And if they control it for a, uh, a certain amount of time, then um, then I have to take it back or, or I'll lose, uh, lose this mission here. So outside, I mean, the multiplayer stuff is, uh, is like I said, it's all based on teamwork, which you guys really aren't, aren't seeing here. Uh, there are different objectives. Everything doesn't revolve around these command posts. Um, you have, sometimes you have to do um, a game type where you have to es you have to do a, a game type where you have to escort a uh, you know um, a high priority I guess target or, or whatever it's called. There we go. All right. Um, you can't pick up uh, other players' weapons, which is something that um, I think there is a perk called Scavenger that lets you gain ammo and stuff from the from down players but uh, I don't think you can actually take uh, take their weapons that they have so still guarding the objective here enemy taking these guys out easy um, another thing that, that I think is pretty cool about this game is uh, this parkour ability where you can climb up things, you can bounce off of walls and and stuff like that. I think, well, no, I really can't do it like that, like the way he moves. Um, The AI is, uh... Oh! There you go. They just, uh, they just killed me. So they took, uh, took control of that command post Enemy there. The so now I have to get back up here and, uh, take, take control of it here. Buff my damage real quick. Control of him and got to re-control re of this thing, uh, or I'll lose uh, lose the mission here. Come on, there we go. All right. You have successfully defended the command post and completed this challenge. There we go. So, kind of what this game is. Uh, not really what it's. It's not really. I was gonna say it's kind of what it's all about, but it's really. Um, it's really not. Uh, there's a lot more to this game. If you guys are interested in seeing more, uh, post up in the comments. Let me know. Leave me a rating uh, or or whatever. Um, so through completing that challenge, I unlocked. Uh, I gained experience points, XP. You can see the totals there. And uh, now I can kind of. I can customize my character a little more. I can. Uh, I can customize uh, weapons that he has uh, a little more. So let's see. What did I unlock? Um, I don't think anything as far as the appearance there, but 
abilities. Oh, that's what I got. So I got a level credit, and now I can buy... Uh, basically, these are like perks um, that you have throughout the... Uh, Throughout the games, whenever you're playing with with this specific character, so now I can buy a um, can buy a perk. So we're gonna buy this health perk, and uh, and that's it. So if you guys are, are interested in seeing more, like I said, let me know um, in the comments below, and uh, I can kind of teach you guys a, a little more about this game. So catch up with you guys later. See you on Xbox Live. Later.